Hi! Welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about my student recommendation, Aragon. So I read this in the month of July because one of my 10th grade students recommended it to me. I don't know how I missed this series when it came out. I know it was super popular. I know there's a movie about it, which I now really want to watch. And I'm super bummed that the other books in the series are stuck in my classroom. So I know that I will be headed there shortly just so that I can go pick them up. I might do a little work while I'm there as well, but I really want to get the next books in this series. So what I was really blown away with was not just how much I enjoyed it. I loved all the action. I loved the characters. I loved that Aragon had a strong moral compass and that he was willing to, you know, think for himself and not just follow others blindly. Um, and I also just kept thinking about how much some of my boy students in school would enjoy this. Um, in ninth grade, I teach a unit that's about the hero's journey, and we read the Odyssey, but the graphic novel form. And then in tenth grade, we continue that a little bit because I teach seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth, so I have them all the way through. So it's kind of cool that from year to year, I can build on those things. So I was wondering, have you ever taught Aragon in your classroom? How did it go for you? I was thinking that this would be awesome to incorporate in my Hero's Journey unit because Aragon is an epic hero and it matches everything in the Hero's Journey circle. Like you have um, the mentor, uh, you have the, um, the animal sidekick, you know, he leaves home, he has to go on this epic adventure. Um, Chances are he's not going to return, um, or if he does return, it will only be for a short time. I loved this. I loved all the magical elements to it. I loved the characters. I loved how Aragon grew as a character throughout this, and I just kept thinking about all of the different activities I could do with this in my classroom, and in particular in that unit. So I wanted to ask, have you taught this book? Do you teach this book? Is this kind of like an old unit for you that you no longer teach. I know that Aragon isn't like super popular anymore, which is why I think some of my kids would really like it because they aren't familiar with the story. So it's not one that they're just gonna be like, oh, I just watched the movie anyway. I don't need to read the book. Hopefully they'll want to get into it. Uh, so, so I am curious. I know that I could create so many Common Core Align prompts, like even one just how does Aragon grow as a character from the beginning to the end of the story? Cite evidence to support your response. Or, um, you know, trace Aragon through the hero's journey circle. Cite evidence at each step of the journey from the text to support it. Um, you could talk about so much. You could talk about different themes like survival and friendship and identity, um, power, you know, the list goes on. I would also hope that because they read this in my unit that they would want to continue reading. I'm always looking for books within my unit that's going to help spark further reading. So I think that this might be something that I incorporate. And even if I don't do it in my Hero's Journey unit in my 10th grade classroom, do you teach an elective? that follows the a hero's journey. That's something that I have um, advocated for in my school. I would love to teach a hero's journey unit where we read, you know, The Hobbit and we read some of the classics and we read some different YA books and just have a whole quarter or a whole semester on the hero's journey. And I think it'd be cool if at the end they had to write their own story or at least if it might be hard to write a story in that time frame, they have to at least like have the plot outlined and how it would match a hero's journey. So I want to hear your thoughts. Have you read Aragon? Did you enjoy it? Have you ever taught it? How did that go for you? What unit do you incorporate it in? And how do students respond to it? Do your students typically enjoy Aragon or is it met with like, oh, I don't want to read this? So let me know your thoughts. Stay tuned. I will be back to talk about my July TBR because July is almost over, which I can't believe how quickly this month has flown by, but stay tuned. I'll be posting more videos soon, and keep reading!